At the Dundalk Credit Union, our goal, and indeed our promise, has always been to give back to the community, the community of our 30,000 strong members, recognising the pivotal role community groups and organisations play within our town and its wider hinterland. Since 2017, the Community Support Fund and our Community Engagement Programme officially launched. We have given almost 200,000 back to Dundalk and its wider community. Over 50 groups, organisations, clubs and voluntary associations have benefited from this and everyone who is a member of the Dundalk Credit Union can be proud of the part they played in making this support possible. This year alone, on top of the €100,000 given to over 30 community organisations, we also gave almost €50,000 to over 85 local community sporting and voluntary projects in Dundalk and the surrounding area in the form of donations and support. This year saw a strengthening in our community relationship with Dundalk Football Club and Loud GAA. Our community partnership with Loud GAA involves supporting all of the county development squads and a hugely successful peer education programme. In addition to being delighted with Dundalk Football Club's success throughout the year, we are thrilled to continue our collaboration and to enable them to achieve a broader reach into the community. In partnership, we are stronger. And it's my pleasure now to introduce a number of those partners who have benefited from your donations to their organisations. My name is Samantha Tether of Information Education Programmes. I deliver programmes around drug awareness, sexual health and anti-bullying programmes and I'm also coordinator of the peer education programme working with schools in Louth. The peer education programme is a programme where transition year students learn all about smoking alcohol and drugs as well as self-esteem and peer pressure. Um, once they've learned that information over five training days, they then deliver the information they have learned back to first years in their own schools over four classes with the SPHE teacher present. Yeah, I think the younger students will benefit from having it because you know, even if they're dealing with any of the problems that we covered, we do mention support services quite a lot. So it means that you know, we're able to help them and if they needed help with it, we could, they could come to us and we could kind of guide them. Yeah, it was definitely fun to do because it wasn't just like you're sitting down in a room being told about this information. You're, in a, you're with your friends, talking to new people, meeting new friends, learning about a topic in a fun way by doing games, PowerPoints, and even at the end, like speaking to your peers about it, which made it very enjoyable. Yeah, I uh, really enjoyed it. As Katie said, uh, we met new people, met new friends. And definitely with the help of Samantha and Shauna, um, it was a real positive experience. I really definitely benefited from my peer education programme. It was really, really important that we received the funding from uh, the Loud GAA, from Dundalk Credit Union and from LCDC. It meant that the programme could go ahead because without the funding the programme wasn't able to continue. So teachers as well as myself were extremely delighted to hear that the programme was back up and running and information was getting out to the young people around drug awareness. The funding that I've received from the three organisations has meant that there's now stability for the peer education programme. It means that I can now plan for the next three years. It's fantastic that I can have all schools in Louth involved in this programme, which is really important that not only certain schools are, are included, but all schools in County Louth are included, which is fantastic. Hi, my name is Colin Roach. I'm the General Manager of the Redeemer Family Resource Centre. Things that would be very close to our heart would be trying to provide support for all age groups, all, all backgrounds, all people. Last year we received funding from the Credit Union Community Support Fund and for a group like us, any funding that we receive is a really big deal. We use the funding particularly for the senior citizens groups. We put some of the money towards both our senior citizens groups who are here on a Wednesday morning and a Thursday afternoon to pay for some activities, uh, courses. We've done some yoga, uh, some chair aerobics, and we've also put some money towards a senior citizens party, which happens annually here. And any support in any way that we can help the community, that's why we're here. 
So Dundalk Youth Centre is a type 3 youth cafe and the idea is that you have all these services in the one place and to be accessible by a whole range of young people that are all living in this area. So you have a place for young people to hang out, so that's um, a youth cafe every evening after school. You also then have a series of programmes such as art, music, leadership programmes and then you also on top of that you have the counselling and therapy service and when everything is in the one building the young people feel very safe and they feel they can access the services without any stigma or anything attached to them and at least for a couple of hours feel really safe and have a good positive influence on them and all of that was made possible on the Saturdays because of the support from the community support fund. My name is Kay Webster, I'm the regional manager of the Coltus Regional Centre in Dundalk, the Oriel Centre in Dundalk Jail and the work of the centre would be to promote the objectives of Coltus, uh, which would be the promotion of traditional Irish music, song, dance and the Irish language. So the centre is here, uh, obviously we work as a cultural centre and are available to many groups uh, within the community to run their activities here, but also we focus specifically on education and traditional Irish music. Dundalk Credit Union Community Support Fund uh, has been vital to the development of No Snow as a project and will assist in the ongoing development of the, of the programme into the future. Looking forward to 2020, our focus for Dundalk's Credit Union Community Support Fund 2020 will be to continue to support our community champions at a local, regional and indeed national level, enabling community support recipients to build stronger and more responsive facilities for their users. We are focusing on five key pillars. They are mental health and well-being, age-friendly, sport development, youth development, culture and heritage. Dundalk Credit Union wants to support organisations and groups that share its community ethos and are striving to improve and better the situation of others. Our community support fund details will be available from January 2020 and we look forward to a year that shows us we are stronger together. Details will be available on our website dundalkcu.ie and promoted across Facebook. Sloan August Bannock.